The present conception is that mathematics is modular. Huh. Take any component out, I can just teach it like teach the it teaches out of it. That's this is the worst consequence of TSM. You have been programmed to do the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Mathematics is superior. Well, it's a little exaggerated, exaggeration, but basically, you, have, you build a pyramid. Do you want to start with the tip of the pyramid? Or you have to do the foundations first, layer by layer? Foundation, like right. I get that. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you have to make sure you subscribe to that philosophy. This is exactly what I want you to come up to present tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The product from there. So the product from there is there, okay, right? And then, KL is the NK and L. <coughs> because, all right, because what? Now, so I haven't written it down, but you can find it in the notes. So, but I'm just, we can talk about it. What does this mean? Can someone try this? What does this mean? What's this? M over N times K over L. Can someone try it? What, what is it? You can, I haven't write, written it down, so it's not fair for me to ask you. But you can, you understand the rest, then you can understand what this has to be. Then talk. Uh, let's find somebody else. Maybe you want to try? What's it mean? Um, it's the concatenation of M, M parts, parts um, when the segment K over L is divided into N equal parts. You all get it? Yes. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah. So that's what it is. That's the meaning. That's the meaning, right? So now, that means what do I do? So that. So I'm trying to find out what it is. What do I do? I have to partition this object into n equal parts. As it stands, what is k? I know nothing about k. So I want to make sure that it's easy to do. To do so I say what? The, the trouble with this is that it's k of the marbles. K, one over l. Marble, marble to me is one over l. Right? Mm -hmm. I have K marbles, I want to divide to L, N equal parts. What, what do I know about K? I don't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So I better change my marbles. I say, this is N, K of the marbles. Mm -hmm. I change my marble to make it easier for myself. Right. For myself to go forward. Right? Yeah, so yeah, no, so I'm, I'm one second. Well, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Right? <laughs> now I have NK marbles. I want to divide it into N equal parts. How big is my part? K over L. K marbles. Right? So my marbles, of course, now is 1 over NL, right? Different mm -hmm. marbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? So what, so what we say is one part when n k over n l is divided into uh, uh, n equal parts is of course uh, k of the model. <coughs> Okay, and right? Good? So, one part, one, and two, this. But uh, any equal part is kill and now. But now, coming back. And is this, is this what I want? No. Well, I want what? M of those. M of those, right? So instead of K marbles, it's NK number of marbles. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I like it. So you will have to. You will have to. <laughs> you will have to 
The only way you understand this, you have to recondition yourself in the following way. One, you have to abide by what the definition says. You cannot start thinking the way I want it. But in fact, the way what you want is inexplic inexplicable. So this <coughs> should abandon ship. Give that start of it. So to abide by this statement. Think hard about what it says. Second thing you must do is, there's no great virtue in just latching on something, you know, it's like an obsession. It's not, that's not the point. The point is that I want to understand this better for what? To derive things that are useful. And the first thing I must derive is exactly this formula then. Mn times Kl, I mean, M over N times K over L is equal to this. Mm -hmm. So understanding that definition is not a virtue in itself, but rather I understand it with a view towards going towards this goal. And that's how it shapes your thinking. Mathematics is very purposeful. We don't just do things for fun. We never do things for fun. Never mind what you're told. We do things because we have a very definite goal in mind. We have that goal, we head towards it, we get there, and it's just, that, that's it. We, we lose interest. So that you have to think that way. You want to go from here to here. But you cannot go from here to here until you know exactly what it is. Textbook school mathematics will, love, will have you believe that. No, you just randomly, just while fooling around here and there, and somehow you get a result. That's not how it's done. You cannot learn things that way. Because you fool around. How do I know what you're fooling around with? You tell me what the goal is. Then I can head towards the goal myself, too. That's what learning is about. I feel that I can learn it. But if I just watch you fooling around, I don't mean you, but I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> then, then I just say, you know, by the way, you should ask your kids. Don't be despair. Say, teachers does this. I have no idea why, why, why. He knows so much more. Forget okay, no. That is what you want to avoid. You want to put everything on the same playing field. Uh, same, <coughs> same just level the playing field. You can do it, but more importantly, they can also do it. That's why you will have to put things down like this. Not about personal conviction. No personal conviction. Because your personal conviction may be really so personal, only you understand it. But it's something everybody understands.